guys today we are back with another video and I think we got the right fish on here oh yes it is the right fish nice squirrely walleye out here we're going for the boat flip right onto the front deck we got him all right well I had intentions of filming something totally different today and uh, we're just rolling with the punches I fished for this fish I caught one other one, but I fished for these two fish for an hour to catch two 17-inch walleye. But we'll take it. Um, so what else are we going to do? Today we are doing something totally different. We are not going to waste the day on learning um, more about where these fish are, what they're doing, and all that kind of good stuff. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running the Markham Quest HD underwater camera around. And we're going to be running around a lot of these spots where I'm catching fish, seeing fish, mostly spots where I'm not catching fish but seeing fish today. Uh, there's a lot of fish around that I am not catching. So we're going to run the camera around a whole bunch of deep walleye stuff. We're going to run around some weed walleye stuff. We're going to run it maybe even for some smallmouth too. Um, it's a clear lake. It's a sunny day. We got low wind. So it's kind of the perfect day to be running the camera around. And it's really a tool that we should probably use more often. And uh, I always keep it kind of ready to go, but I don't really honestly bring it that much because I feel so confident what I'm seeing with sonar, down imaging, and side imaging. But if you're just getting in um, to trying to kind of learn side imaging, down imaging, and sonar, this is an absolutely powerful tool. Kind of when side imaging really started getting good, um, I started. I, I actually ram mounted one of these in my boat right next to my graph. And anytime I saw something that I wasn't sure what it was, I would waypoint it, drive over to it, and look at it, right? It's the only indefinite way in which you can see something, go check it out, and know exactly what it is. So it really is the only way you can answer a lot of questions. And that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna run around some spots, check out some cool stuff with the underwater camera, whole bunch of cool underwater footage, and uh, who knows, we'll see what we see. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna look at with the camera here is a deep rock point. And uh, there's almost always walleyes here. I almost never catch walleyes here unless the bite's just really good. But it's one of those weird spots where like, I'm pretty sure they're walleyes. They look just like walleyes on sonar. And I'll kind of throw up a screenshot of what they look like right here. This is what I'm looking at when I go over this spot. And uh, like I said, I've caught walleyes here in the past, but it's real like hit and miss. They're, they're always here. And uh, so it'll be kind of interesting to drop a camera down, see how many of them we see, see what we see. Now this is like 28, 29 feet deep right here. So it's pretty deep. Um, so I'm not sure how well it's gonna pick up on the camera, um, but just looking at the graph, we're still kind of going over fish and they're definitely down there. So this will be kind of interesting. And this is kind of like one of those spots. It's not real big chunk rock, but it's kind of the tail of a big long gravel point. And these fish kind of sit right out here on the end of it, right before it falls out to basin, right? So it's kind of one of those cookie cutter, um, you know, kind of these fall spots where these fish are out on these big extensions around this deeper tip of stuff right before it breaks out to the real deep stuff. And uh, we'll kind of see what it looks like down there. I think it's probably going to be some sand, maybe some rock, and uh, hopefully a whole bunch of walleye. So stay tuned, see what we see. I'm going to drop the mark them down. pretty much as expected. Whole bunch of walleyes. Um, I'm not sure, it'll probably show up. I could see them as I was looking at them, but it's probably gonna show up way better once I get it on the computer and into a video. Um, so hopefully that was kind of cool for you guys. It looked like there's honestly some nice fish in there too. Um, one thing that's always surprising to people is kind of like how far they look like they're sitting up off the bottom. A lot of people imagine walleyes just like, 
bottom and then the belly's just right at the bottom and a lot of times these fish kind of elevate up a little bit like you can kind of see on, uh, on on the video footage we got there uh, but definitely a lot of fish there and uh, that's pretty much exactly what I thought it was going to be it was a little more sandy than I thought down there but as far as the number of fish there there's always just a lot of fish in that spot and I always see them there and uh, it definitely proves the point that it's a lot of nice fish there so the next thing we're going to go look at I believe is we're going to try to find some walleyes in the weeds and uh, it's can be kind of difficult to get the camera in front of these fish just because they're kind of always moving through the weeds and it's kind of real shallow and you can get the boat on top of them blah 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 blah. but hopefully we can at least pick up a couple on the underwater camera in the weeds and uh, we'll see all right so looking at the weed bed here we have located some walleyes in the weeds. Now I'll throw a side imaging shot up right here. Now there's kind of like three, four pods like this down like a hundred yard stretch. Um, so I've kind of waypointed them out and basically what we're gonna try to do is just, I guess, drive over to where they are, spot lock, and kind of zoom the camera around with the trolling motor. And hopefully those fish kind of stay put. Um, and it can be kind of difficult to find this, uh, to get the camera. I have had very hit or miss success when it comes to uh, getting these fish on camera when they're in the weeds. Um, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. Alright, so we obviously saw a few walleyes there. Nothing crazy, but like I said, these things are difficult to get on in the weeds. Um, I'll throw up another side imaging shot here, you know, stuff we're looking at, but uh, um, tough to see, but I'm glad we could at least see a few of them. And uh, we did find one cool thing, which I've actually been seeing on side imaging in this spot for a while now. Um, I just was pretty sure what it was. Um, I'm pretty sure it is an old boat, and that is definitely what it is. So we dropped the camera down around that. It took me a little bit to side image it, get close to it, get close to it, get right on top of it. But pretty cool, old boat, very old boat. Let me know what you guys think this thing is in the comments, how it got there, whatever the story is. Um, but yeah, we're gonna air some footage of that right now just because it's pretty cool. All right, what is our next plan of attack? What are we gonna go look at? Well, another cool part about this lake is that there's really big smallmouth out here, and uh, they love cribs. Now, I can only see what I can see on sonar, down imaging, and side imaging when I'm looking at this stuff, um, and uh, sometimes you'll catch, what you'll end up doing is you'll catch a lot of fish off a crib where you don't see anything. So what I'm kind of thinking is those fish probably sit right in the cribs, right? So we're gonna run the mark them down into some smallmouth spots um, where I catch a bunch of smallmouth and see what we see. My guess is we'll probably like, It'll probably be like long periods of nothing and then short periods where there's just a mountain of smallmouth on the screen because those fish definitely school up. It's just difficult because I can't really see them all the time on sonar. So I don't really know when to drop, when not to drop the camera down. And uh, it takes forever to find this stuff. You just drive around with the camera, right? So I'm gonna drop it down in front of a few of these big cribs. And uh, number one, it'll be cool to see what the cribs look like. Number two, it'll be cool to see how those smallmouth relate to those cribs. But these are some of the, you know, the, the answers that the only way you can get them is with an underwater camera like the Markham and uh, that's what's so cool about it. It's probably a tool we should all probably use a lot more um, but it's kind of cool just you know come out here see what you see and it's definitely a learning experience. So we're gonna go to some small spots drop them down see what we see.
Oh boy, that is a fish. <laughs> well, as I was looking for some smallies, I figured might as well see if there's one around that wants to bite. I don't know what is going on here. It's just like a ton of weight and uh, small head shakes. I don't know if he's like, oh, there he is. Too much fun though. Seeing a few smallies. I could actually see my sucker at one point. I was really hoping that I'd kind of get the whole thing on video, but anyways, can't be catching these things when they're just big, fat footballs like this. And look at this thing. Little light action rod and just scream and line off it. Can't even pull them in right now. That's crazy. Oh, I got bass on the camera as we're talking. <laughs> That's how you know it's on right here. A lot of fish. Kind of all piled up right next to each other. Dang, what is going on here? Is this thing like wrapped up in my line? Oh yeah. Nice little chunker. Let me go ahead and grab them quick. There we go. Smallies on the camera. Smallies on our line. Just Lindy rigging a little sucker. Too cool. Gotta love it. the line down too many bass down there feels like another real oh how can you not like that slow day on the walleyes but we're seeing just a ton of smallmouth right where they should be and they're biting I mean, look at this rod i don't know how much of it's actually in the camera maxed out big head shakes too what do we got what do we got oh just a football Listen to that. Is that too cool or what? I mean, my drag is relatively tight. And this thing is just going. All right, I'm gonna grab the net. I got him right up top here. Oh my gosh, is that a good one. All right. <laughs> look at that. Can't complain about that. I'll give you guys a look. But it's a toad. Look at that guy. That is a stud. Big old smallmouth right there. Easily 20 inches long. Easily over four pounds. Maybe five pounds. I have no idea. I'm not a bass guy. Stud though. Look at that big old fish for sure. We're gonna let that one go. Awesome. Well, that is gonna kind of wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video a little bit different. Um, I know we only caught one walleye and a couple of smallmouth, but um, walleye fishing for some reason today on this lake has been absolutely brutal. But um, I can find them, I can see them on the camera, I just can't get a lot of bites. So um, underwater camera, obviously super cool tool. If you guys wanna check this one out, I've been using it for a few years, both open water and ice, and I like it a lot, the Markham Quest HD. And uh, yeah, no complaints there. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. But um, like I said, Kind of throughout this video it's really the it's a phenomenal tool for you know looking at stuff you're not sure about if you, like i said right in the intro if you want to get in um to kind of being more certain with what you're looking at on side imaging down imaging sonar get an underwater camera and play around with it if you see something you're not sure what it is drive over to it look at it use that camera drop it get it around fish get it around cribs get it around rock it does answer a lot of questions so i appreciate you guys watching hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the underwater footage and uh yeah we're back to hopefully catching more walleyes tomorrow it will not be on this lake, I can guarantee you of that, but uh, hopefully it will be somewhere catching some kind of fish. Um, I'm flying by the seat of my pants, no idea what we're going to be doing, but thanks for watching. If you guys aren't yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>